Okay. Good evening and welcome to the Odin of Subcommittee. We'll conduct in an open and public meeting on Tuesday, February 23rd, 2021 uh, at 7.01. This meeting is conducted as a virtual meeting with proceeding and broadcast on the media outlets provided below. Boris, board members are my vice chair, Councilor Maria de la Cruz, uh, Councilor District C, Jorge Gonzalez, and Councilor at Large, Selena Reyes, and the chair, myself, Estela Reyes. Pursuant to the Governor Breakers, March 12, 2020, would it suspend a certain provision of the Open Meeting Law, General Law, Section 30A18, and the Governor March 15, 2020, ordering imposing a strict limitation on the number of people that might gather in one place. This meeting is being conducted via remote participation, non in-person attendant or member of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access to proceeding as provided for in the order. A reminder that the person who would like to listen to view this meeting while in progress may do use of any of the following access locations. Facebook Lawrence City Council page and YouTube Lawrence City Council page. Roll call. Roll call. Um, Councilor Selena Reyes. Present. Councilor Jorge Gonzalez. Present. And Chair Stella Reyes. Present. I thought I saw uh, Councilor Maria de la Cruz. Cruz. Mm -hmm. Councilor Maria de la Cruz. Present. Thank you. Thank you. Madam Chair. Councilor Vice Chair. Yes, I would like to have a moment of recognition and gratitude for the great job that the, the fire department has done for the church called Corpus Christi, the Catholic church that got into fire yesterday. And the fire department did an amazing job. The whole church didn't get into fire, only the house because of the prevention that the fire, um, for the prevention that they use, the technical prevention that they use to prevent that the whole block get into a bigger fire. Then it is moment to say thank you for them because they did an amazing job yesterday, last night. At the thank you, Councilor. Yes, thank you, Vice, um, Vice Chair. Yes, um, well taken that um, recommendation. I think they did a uh, excellent job. The farthest I heard and knew was that, that it took then more than five hours just to control. So um, yes, thank you. Um, I think we have to be, we have to feel very proud of our fire department as well as our DPW. I I think you know they did an amazing job. Thank you. So I do not have a meeting to, to approve. So the first item in the agenda is. Document 16B-21, Seward Local Three Inspector Unit Collective Bargaining, Health Safety and Equipment in Health Safety. It quite a second. It has been put in agenda by Mark Yanello, CPA Chief Administration and Finance and, and, Finance and Budget. I think it did this section A. But we also have uh, Commissioner Mano present. So I'm going to give you the floor to Armano. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, before you tonight is a description that 
the inspectors are asking for acceptance. Uh, essentially, the inspectors union, which is made up of 14 inspectors and inspectional services department, voted and negotiated a contract. This was uh, voted, they voted unanimous, unanimously to accept this contract. Uh, and as part of the contract, they reclassified their job description in two ways. Essentially, they created an, an umbrella description uh, for all of the inspectors and that description being health, safety and equity uh, code officials. And uh, the significance of this um, really is a, a unification of this group. They, uh, I'm very proud to say that they, uh, they accepted this as a, an umbrella title. Uh, within inspectional services, as you know, we have building officials, we have food inspectors, we have plumbing officials, housing inspectors, uh, seals of weights and measures, but together they collectively agreed that their job in the city of Lawrence was to protect the residents and look out for those three most important things, health, safety, and probably most importantly, equity. And it, it's something that our, the, the fight for health, uh, to stop health inequities in our community is, is very real. We saw this with COVID-19. We see this in, in our housing stock. Uh, we see this in so many different ways. Uh, even our small businesses suffer through so much. So uh, again, I'm proud to say that they unified, they came together under this umbrella and accepted the, the great responsibility of uh, looking out for health, safety and equity in every inspection that they do, every permit they issue, every plan that they review. They, they know that the responsibility is a great one. So it, it's more in title than anything. They're still doing the same jobs. They're still issuing building permits. They're still doing plumbing inspections and housing inspections but they've, they've all sort of agreed that it's a team response and their eyes need to be open for all of these issues in our community in order to have the most effective unified group to protect against or to protect health equity and safety in the community. So, um, thank you. So uh, just to be clear, I know that that information, I had the opportunity to speak with Mike Anello um this afternoon and as well as you so i have all that information but just for the record we're not hiring any new um three inspector we are going to be transfer the exceeding employer that we have is that correct that is correct so and um that's uh okay that's the description for the budget purpose, we have uh, Mark Yannello. So can we just um, elaborate a little bit more about, you know, the money, how much they going to be increased um, and all that information that you might think we to know? Well, the uh, this uh, item is uh, um, was split into two. And, and as uh, as a uh, as you mentioned earlier, uh, there was a, a part A and a part B to the collective bargaining agreement. The, uh, uh, the city council approved the funding of the uh, collective bargaining agreement that we negotiated. Uh, but what the, uh, the nego our negotiations uh, um, resulted in a, uh, uh, in creating these two new job titles and those two job titles have to be ordinanced before we can move the existing positions into them. Uh, so currently I think there's four or five different titles in the department, uh, as Michael explained, uh, they're all gonna be transitioned into the health safety and equity officer, officer uh, one and two, if it is so approved. There is a, uh, for the people lowest in the, in the pay grade, I think there's four employees that will get uh, a, a slight bump in their salary to bring them up to the HSE level one. Uh, but the remaining employees will pretty much uh, um, uh, stay where they are at the at their existing salaries. Uh, the collective bargaining agreement, of course, had a, a cost of living increase of one and a half percent per year for the three year term. But the uh, um, the uh, each of the employees in the uh, each of the existing employees we moved into one of those two positions depending on whether they have a, a license or uh, uh, Michael can explain it better but you know they have to have a license or some special training to get into health safety and equity level two 
Um, so if anybody is a uh, level one, uh, they can move into level two once they attain that accreditation. They'll also uh, get a little bit of a bump in pay. Uh, uh, just in, included in your packet at the very uh, back of your packet, the last couple of pages are the job descriptions for the HSNE1 and the HSNE2. But I think Michael did a better job of explaining it than, than the actual job uh, description. But that's what would be ordinanced. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Um, Ayanello. Um, I do have all that information that we need at this moment in, the, in our package. I don't know if the, any other counselor there are present, they need any more information. I can encourage them that before the meeting, they can either meet in, or call you or Mr. Armano as well, just exactly what I did. So I got all that information um, at this time or at this moment, I do not have any further question. I'm just gonna open the floor just to see if any other car, the, the colleague or the counselor, they have any question. Marish. So when, yes. Uh, I, I raised my hand. <laughs> you see it? Uh, yes, now I did. Thank you. Uh, I would like to take this moment to say thank you to the inspectional services because they have done an amazing job in the whole community with the COVID-19. Just the COVID-19 has taken a lot of their time and a lot of their energy to be able to work in our community. And I would like to say thank you, thank you. The salary increase is well-deserved because um, they're working extra hours, they're working at night, they work in, they want to make sure that our business are closed on time. They want to make sure that um, our people keep forgetting about not gathering more than 20 people in a very small space. And they are doing an amazing job. Then it is, um, it is about time that they get well recognized and that they get uh, the opportunity to, to that they get an increase in their salary because they're working very hard. Of course, they need more employees because uh, the city of Lauren is a big community now and, and they need to have more staff that we can have and make sure, for example, that the business are closed at nine o'clock or 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, whatever time it is on the frame that, you know, for the safety of our community. I think, that department has a very small amount of, of people. And I think it should be increased because of the needs of our community. They have to do with the health department. They have to do with um, people building construction and stuff like that. And people not knowing what to do or where to go. Or they have to wait a long time to get what they need. Then congratulations, Mr. Hermano. I know you're doing an amazing job. And... It is well deserved, but I think everybody should get an increase in that department. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor De La Cruz. I think we have two head of the two of the biggest department in our city, and they both need to to have credit. But let me tell you what my experience has been meeting with um, Commissioner Armano and it's been over four hours, I believe, is that correct? It was about four hours, but let me tell you, and I think it, I, he deserved that I can say this in public, every single recommendation that I had mentioned it to him, he not only written down, but he also had the answer. I was so satisfied when I met with him, um, and I agree with you. I think it, um, he need more staff to be able to continue function the way that he has done it. I think he has done tremendous job with the leader that he has, he has made a huge difference. However, I am more concerned all the hour that he has been putting into and taking from his family and, and I'm not gonna stop, continue repeating that to him. So it's 10, nine, and sometime later, 
when he's on, he's not only working with COVID, but if you take a time and sit with him, you are going to be surprised how I did. Because sometimes we think and we know enough about our head of department, but he, he went above and beyond the, all the things that he has done for our city. Stand with Mr. Anello. There's no word just to recognize all the work that he has been done all this year for our city, putting our city together and just to maintain it together with numbers, I don't know how, but I think you also deserve a big applause. So both, um, nowhere to be enough just to compliment and the job that you have done for our community, for our city and be open. Um, it's, it's so easy when you get respond right away. I just asked our secretary to email uh, Mr. Anello today. And I don't think it passed two hours when I got the answer. This is what we need in our city. Just to, to, to make and have a system that work for every single one. Because remember, we're not asking information for us to know more. It's just to be well informed and when those questions arise in our side, at least we can answer back. Thank you both. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you so much for the kind words uh, on behalf of the inspectors that, you know, they're a very hardworking crew and uh, they deserve all the recognition that they get. And I think the city would be proud to see all of their efforts. So I appreciate your acknowledgement of that. Thank you so much. Madam Chair. Yes, Councilor Gonzalez. Well, um, I just came aboard, but I've been in the community all my life. Uh, as an ex-city councilor, I, I, I know how hard that department been working. Well, the entire uh, uh, city hall, because I, I've been in the community all my life. And with all the recommendations that you guys been there, uh, Vice Chair uh, De La Cruz, you're the chair. And, uh, no, I am. I'm happy to uh, approve, make a recommendation to make a motion and uh, keep doing the hard work that they're doing. I will support it. I will bother him when I need something. I will. I will well, be there. <laughs> I I encourage I encourage all of you that if you ever have any question, do not hesitate to call or email them. I know that uh, Commissioner Armano, he has been way behind. He think he is, I don't think so. I think he is way ahead of many things that he has done. Like I told him um, on Saturday, I'm open to work with him and help to improve whatever he feels like he needs to work on. He's gonna be the only one who can tell us what he needs from us. Um, and, and more than thank you, I have no words just to describe all the work that he has done. However, you know that we're not living in a perfect world. We're always going to hear complaints, but we need to be part of the solution. We already know all the issues that has been going on for years. Nothing is going to change overnight. And I don't think if for him to be putting all the time that he's been putting, um, I don't think it's going to make any much different than what he had already done. So um, Commissioner Armano, take this as a great recommendation. Um, try to work with your staff. I know that you have a great team that wants to work with you, but um, I think it's time for our community just to see what leader we have sitting in that chair and how many hours you have been putting into it any project that has been coming to your hands. Um, I heard, I think I saw Councillor Selena Regis waving. Councillor mm. Reg Selena Regis. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, no, I agree what you, Councillor De La Cruz, and you say about uh, Mr. Armano and Antelo, but I want to mention to the 
hard work and dedication on our official canal. Because when the community needs him, it doesn't matter what time, what day, it's weekend, uh, Monday to Friday, Saturday and Sunday, he responds and he attend our community. And I want to mention because I sending a lot of text message for let him know uh, for the different play the community need him and he, uh, it doesn't matter what is the weather, he attend. So I appreciate the hard work uh, our official cannot do. Uh, officer Cano, well, you heard, she was the one say that about Officer Cano. Okay? Me too. Me okay. too. <laughs> so, okay. Thank you both. Thank you both. Um, so I'm ready for a motion to stand with favor recommendation to order a public hearing. Make a motion. Second. Second. The motion has been made properly second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. The ayes have it. Roll call. Roll call for document 16B-21 that was sent to the full council with favorable recommendation to order public hearing. Councilor Maria de la Cruz? Yes. Councilor Jorge Gonzalez? Yes. Councilor Selena Reyes? Yes. And Ch Madam Chair Stella Reyes? Yes. Motion carries, thank you. Thank you, thank you both for being present and um, thank you. Thank you for what, what, what you're doing for our city. Thank you. Thank you. So next document is uh, document 34-21, a stop sign, Carlington Street, corner of Dana Street, it has been put on the agenda by Councillor Selena Regis and Councillor Abdul. Can I get a motion to send a document 34-21 in table to Officer Kennel? So move. Second. The motion has been made properly second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. The ayes have it. Okay, roll call for document 34-21 that was uh, sent to Officer Carnell for review and recommendation and also table. Councilor Selena Reyes? Uh, yes. Councilor Maria de la Cruz? Yes. Councilor Jorge Gonzalez? Yes. And Madam Chair Stella Reyes? Yes. Motion passed. Thank you. The next document is document 36-21 is a national grid petition covering the installation on the ground facility of 136-140 Exit Street. Um, do we have anyone from national grid? Uh, yes, Michael Menides, I'm representing national grid. Oh, thank you. Um, so can you explain a little bit more? It's going to be an underground facility. Uh, sure. I guess they're putting in a new, it's going to be a new apartment building. Um, we'll be installing uh, some conduits from an existing manhole on the opposite side of the street uh, to the corner of Essex and Mill Street in a new uh, underground manhole there. And then we'll be serving the building from that. The new manhole. Okay, so do you need to block the traffic? Are you going to be having a police um, detail? What is the hour that you're planning to do that? And um, well, the customer, the the customer's electrical contractor will be doing the digging. Uh, we'll have an inspector on site, um, and yeah, we'll we'll order a police detail for them um, to direct traffic during that time. Okay. So I see all the paper in order, unless there any other um, counselor has any question, I'm ready for the motion. Madam. Yes. Um, I would like to, re to remind um, the people from National Green that when they break the ground to make sure that they paved the way it was because um, to make sure that there is no hole left open to the public or when they put the asphalt on top of the, um, 
of the ground that is not the kind of asphalt that is not a good material that it will deep down the hole. We need something of quality and to leave the things the way they found it. Maybe much better than what they found. It's just a friendly reminder. Thank you, Councillor de la Cruz. Um, I think we, I think we need to uh, make um, our city engineer to get involved and just to kind of look into it. As he say, it's going to be uh, an inspector on site. So, but yes, I, I agree with you. So I heard the motion to send it to uh, with favor recommendation to order a public hearing it has been made by uh, Councillor Selena Regis. Can I hear a second? Second. The motion has been made properly second. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, the ayes have it. Uh, who second that one? Uh, Mr. Gonzalez. My okay, thank you. Okay, roll call for document 3620 that was sent to the full council with favorable recommendation and order public hearing. Councilor Jorge Gonzalez? Yes. Councilor Selena Reyes? Yes. Councilor Maria de la Cruz? Yes. Madam Chair Stella Reyes? Yes. Motion passed. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being part of uh, our meeting. Counselor, I'm going to be start taking um, table items since we don't have any new business at this moment. Um, can I get a motion to take document 217-20 out of table? So move. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. The ayes have it. A roll call for document 21720 that was taken out of table matters. Councilor Selena Reyes? Yes. Councilor Maria de la Cruz? Yes. Councilor Jorge Gonzalez? Yes. And Madam Chair Stella Reyes? Yes. Motion passed. Thank you. Uh, so we have Officer Cano, who's going to give us the report. Um, last meeting, I don't know if you got a chance to look the city engineer um, recommendation. So that was the reason that we didn't pass this document. So Officer Cano. It's 20, 217-20 and you mute um, you need to un unmute it. Okay. Can you hear me now? Now we can. The document is 217-20. Yes, I, I don't have that study. I do not have that study. Okay. Um, Let me see. I think so. I think that was just referred to the city engineer. Yeah, we did refer it to the city engineer, but I do have a report from Officer Cano. I'm submitting this memo response document 217. This is a request by Councilor President Mark Laplan for making Weir Street one way from Covet Roar to Stephen Street. Um, okay. So can I get a motion to table document 217-20? So move. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. The ayes have it. So our offices panel has. Um, excuse me, Madam Chair. Yeah. You didn't get a report on that because Teresa gave me uh, from the city engineer from Felix Garcia. You do have the right. Yeah, it was on February. Well, the date it says February eighth. I yeah. have it. You have it, and you have. Uh, do you also? Okay, because I thought uh, that I have. Um, 
Oh, that was the one that we were waiting. Yes, you're right. So, okay. And, okay, so we can take the document out of the table and then we send it to full council with favor recommendation. Make a motion. So okay. motion, motion to take document 217-20 out of the table. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Yes, have it. Okay, roll call to take document 21720 out of table. Councilor Maria de la Cruz. Yes. Councilor Jorge Gonzalez. Yes. Councilor Selena Reyes. Yes. Madam Chair Stella Reyes. Yes. Motion pass. Motion to send it to uh, full council favor of recommendation to order a public hearing. Make a motion. Second. The motion has been made properly second. All those in favor? Aye. The ayes have it. Roll My call. Yeah. Yeah, roll call. Okay, roll call for document 21720 that was sent to the full council with favorable recommendation to order public hearing. Councilor Selena Reyes? Yes. Councilor Jorge Gonzalez? Yes. Councilor Maria de la Cruz? Yes. And Madam Chair Stella Reyes? Yes. Thank you. Motion carries. Madam Chair? Yes. I would like to take out um, item 257, document 252-20. Uh, can we take the, the next? Is that one is have to do with um, Officer Cano? Uh, no. Okay. So let me you take the next document that we have for Officer Cano. Okay. No problem. Can I get a motion to take document 233-19 out of table? So move. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 233 or 231? 233. One moment, please. Let me find it. Same page. Uh, 231 is, is on first and then the second. The last one. Page three. Okay. 233. Okay, I got it. Um, so Maria, did we do the roll call on that one? No, not yet. Okay. Roll call to take document 233.19 out of table matters. Councilor so Selena Reyes? Yes. Councilor Maria de la Cruz? Yes. Councilor Jorge Gonzalez? Yes. Madam Chair Stella Reyes? Yes. Motion carries, thank you. Uh, this document has been referred to um, Officer Scallon on 19, but we have the report from Officer Cano that also has been referred to 16. So um, Officer Cano? Yes, good evening. Councilors, good evening, everyone. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The document 233-19 is a request of 15-minute parking located at 144 South Union Street, which is a restaurant called Empanadas Oliega Restaurant. The uh, owner, Mr. Santiago Oliega, is looking for this 15-minute parking. I did go to that location, and I did measure from the corner of Abbott Street traveling north to a point 131 feet, which will be the first sign, and the second sign from the corner of Abbott Street going northbound on South Union Street to a point 151 feet. I find um, that this is an excellent location for, the, uh, for this sign, which will give him a 15 minute window for his uh, businesses, customers to be able to come in and out and not have so much uh, restriction with parking with other uh, residents as well as businesses. Motion uh, yeah. to send it to the full council. Second. Motion. Yeah, motion to send it with favor recommendation to order public hearing. 
So the motion has been made by, uh, by Councillor de la Cruz, second by uh, Councillor Selena Reyes. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. The ayes have it. Yeah. Roll call for document 233-19 that was sent to the full council with favorable recommendation to order public hearing. Councilor Selena Reyes? Yes. Councilor Maria de la Cruz? Yes. Councilor Jorge Gonzalez? Yes. Madam Chair Stella Reyes? Yes. Motion passed, thank you. Okay, um, Officer Cano. Do you have any more report that you need to pass on on this time? No, not at this time. There were uh, pending two, but because of the snow, uh, it was I'm, I'm, I'm unable to go ahead and forward any information. It'll be pending for the next meeting. Okay. Um, Mr. Cano, before you leave, I wanted to say that we miss you at the Neighborhood Association because we haven't been able to meet. But remember that you are part of the District A Neighborhood Association and that we love you. Well, okay. I don't think I'm yeah. going to take that um, because she's always been fighting to have him over. But uh, Cano, he answered my calls. He answered my calls. And I love that. So, uh, Officer Cano, before you join us, uh, Councillor Selena Reyes and as well as Councillor Gonzalez, they was um, giving very kind words about you and how you've been working with them. That doesn't matter uh, what is the condition of the weather. You always be coming, and they feel like they can rely on you. Thank you. I, I'm humbled by those words, and I, I really appreciate it. I, I serve with my heart and I hope that we continue to move this city forward as we uh, move into a very fluid and loving community in which we work. And I think that we're blessed to be where we are and to have the opportunity to serve our community the way we do. I think that we're all instrumental all the way to, from, from the highest point as the mayor, all the way to the citizens in the community. I'm very grateful and I'm, th I'm thankful for those words. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so moving on, Councillor De La Cruz, what were the items that you was on? Um... It's on the first page, uh, item document 252-20. City Council Salary Review. Yes. Yes. Okay, can I get a motion to take document two? 52-20 out of table. So move. Second. Motion has been made, properly second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, roll call for document 252-20 that was taken out of table matters. Councilor Selena Reyes? Yes. Councilor Maria de la Cruz? Yes. Councilor Jorge Gonzalez? Yes. Madam Chair Stella Reyes? Yes. Thank you, Monsieur Pass. Madam Chair, yes. I will then, um, 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 I would like a, a, a letter to be sent to the mayor and to Mr. Ina Ianello because um, the city council salaries, I understand that it's um, a statement that uh, counselors get, but at the same time, uh, that salary has been there for a long time. As the hard workers that we all are, I, and the next generations, we I would like to see the salary be increased because otherwise our young people, they're not going to take over this kind of job because of the salary. Then I understand that it's a public service, but at the same time, people are spending a lot of money on um, helping the community, gasoline, moving from one place to the other. Then I would like a letter to be sent to the mayor and to Mr. Ian Nello for the two of them to sit down and plan what they're gonna do with the city council salary. Councilor de la Cruz, I think it, um, what you have to do, and I think it, um, 
I'm sorry, I think I had mentioned this to you before. So what I encourage you to do is just to sit with our city, um, our city attorney, just go over and draft something and send it over to, to them. So that way they know what they are looking for. So that way you can express in your work what you're looking. So if you need more support from the city council after you go around with that record or proposal is coming down. So um, we can send the letter, but you kind of have to guide our secretary just to kind of draft and send in I'm any invitation to it. We just asking for something very simple. I have spoken to the city attorney and you know, she agrees that something can be sent. Yes, I will go back to her and draft it in a piece of paper and uh, mm -hmm. bring it back. But I think it's about time that the new major understand that this is a, a public service that needed to be taken care of because otherwise, I remember that we are not gonna get that salary. We, I'm thinking about the future generations that are coming, that they are not as taking this kind of job because they have college to pay, they have car to pay, they have a family maybe. Mm -hmm. And you know, I want this, um, the city council to be looked as a job that is well paid. It doesn't matter if it is a public service, but at the, you know, that our young generation feel the desire to be part of. Okay. Um, again, since this is something that is passing through a ordinance committee, it have, everything has to stay in record. And the reason that I encourage you to do that is because I like that idea. I'm not, I'm not denying the fact that you are fighting for our new genera generation. However, uh, like I told you, everything has to stay in record. So what am I going to do at this time? We are going to table the document. We're just going to leave it here. And then uh, whenever you're ready, we can ask, uh, we can make the, mo the motion to same recommendation to um, the our, city the, our mayor and um, Mr. Ayanello just to look at into budget prospected and just to kind of give us an idea and guide us uh, what we can do and what we cannot do at this time. Thank you, Madam Chair. So the motion is then recommendation um, on document 252-20 uh, is the city council salary review. So um, motion has been made. I didn't hear a second. Second. Properly second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. The ayes have it. Maria did uh, what we was motion on now is just to send correspondent, something simple to the mayor and um, Mr. Ayanello just to review the salary. And mm -hmm. uh, so you got that part, right? Yeah. So um. Motion to table document 252-20. Do I need to do a roll call on that one? Yes. On the fix, on the, the recommendation? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So roll call for our recommendation to send to um, the mayor and budget Same. director. Yeah. I Correspondence. Mm -hmm. Correspondence regarding the city council salary for review. Yes. Councillor Selena Reyes? Yes. Councillor Maria de la Cruz? Yes. Councillor Jorge Gonzalez? Yes. And Madam Chair Stella Reyes? Yes. Motion passed. Okay. Motion to table document 252-20. Motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. AI is having. Um, Madam Chair. Motion to table. Yeah, document 252-20. Councilor Selena Reyes. Yes. Councilor Jorge, Jorge Gonzalez. Yes. Councilor Maria de la Cruz. Yes. Madam Chair Stella Reyes. 
Yes. Motion passed. Thank you. Madam Chair. Yeah. Um, I document 283, 284-285-19. Those documents were already reviewed and done. Um, is Mr. Canora? Because um, I think they should be the lead. I mean, they already one way. Okay, so it's just to withdraw. So we have to take it out of table and set for a withdrawal. Okay. The there is wait. document two, is the page three? It's on Boeing Street. Yeah. So can I get a motion to take document 283, 284, and 285 as a block and send it for withdrawal, take, uh, as a block to take it out of table and send it as a block for withdrawal. So move. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. The ayes have it. A roll call for documents 283.19, 284.19, and 285.19 that was taken as a block and out of table and also as a block and sent to the full council for withdrawal. Councilor Selena Reyes? Yes. Councilor Maria de la Cruz? Yes. Councilor Jorge Gonzalez? Yes. Madam Chair Stella Reyes? Yes. Motion passed. Thank you. Okay. I'm I, not, but um, um, I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, item 264, the open gym at the old high school, that already happened. Too bad that the pandemic came in and they couldn't continue, but that's already in place with the police department. The open gym, item 264, 19. Which page is that one? I have to find it myself when I was doing my studies. Okay, so uh, I to the page number 264. Okay, so in that case, when you find that, you let me know which page is that one. In the meantime, I do have another item that we have that recommendation in the draft from the city in attorney. And that document is can I get a motion to take document 193? Dash 20 at a table. What? Um, so the motion has been made, properly second. All those in favor? Aye. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that uh, 19320 who made the motion and seconded. Okay. I made the motion. Okay. So Mr. Gonzalez seconded. Okay. So roll call for document 19320 that was taken out of table. Councilor Jorge Gonzalez. Yes. Councilor Selena Reyes. Yes. Councilor Maria de la Cruz. Yes. Madam Chair Stella Reyes. Yes. Okay, motion passed. Thank you. Okay, this um, item is request for a new ordinance position, senior parking attendant. Um, I have the draft from the city attorney and it's gonna be a new position that was put in the agenda by Major Rivera. So the position established appointment duty, this is established in the Department of the Public Work. The position is a senior parking attendant to be appointed by the mayor. So basically what the mayor, um, former Mayor Rivera was looking is, was just to create an ordinance for a new position for um, senior parking attendant. So I have the draft. I can forward to all of you just for you to have it. You can review it. So if you don't have any question, I would like to send document 193-20 uh, with favor of recommendation to order public hearing. So move. Second. Second. 
the motion has been made properly second maria you got who had who got the motion and who seconded yes okay so roll call okay roll call for document 193 20 that was sent to the full council with federal recommendation to order public hearing councillor jorge gonzalez yes councillor maria de la cruz yes councillor selena reyes yes Madam Chair Stella Reyes. Yes. Motion passed, thank you. Okay, so what was the document that you were looking uh, for? I, um, I brought it wrong. It's 246 on page three, 246.19. Okay, so can I get a motion to take document 246-19 at the table? So move. Second. The motion has been made properly second. All, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. The ayes have it. Okay. So the no. motion ended uh, to withdraw, right? Yes, to withdraw. The motion to send uh, document 256-19 to withdraw. 246. Page two three. Yeah, 246-19 to send it uh, to withdraw. Yes. Can I hear the motion? So move. Second. Okay. Motion has been made properly. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. The ayes have it. A roll call for document 24619 that was sent to the full council for withdrawal. Councilor Selena Reyes? Yes. Councilor Maria de la Cruz? Yes. Councilor Jorge Gonzalez? Yes. And Madam Chair Stella Reyes? Yes. Motion passed, thank you. Uh, any other document that you wish to take at a table uh, this time? Okay, I hear none. Um, can I get a motion to adjourn? So move. Second. Okay. Motion has been made properly. Second, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, Aye. Roll call. I'm sorry. Roll call to adjourn at 7.53, Councilor Jorge Gonzalez. Yes. Councillor Maria de la Cruz. Yes. Councillor Selena Reyes. Yes. And Madam Chair Stella Reyes. Yes. Thank you all. Thank you. And um, see you in our next meeting. Thank you. Have a good great night. team. Great team, huh? Good night. Good, good, night. Night. good, good night. night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night.